Okay, what's up everybody? Here's another water comparison video. Tonight we're comparing all eight of these waters. And yeah, this is a round one review video. So I could have split this video up into a couple videos, but these are all pretty similar waters. So I'm just gonna combine all these into one video. And uh, because these are all carbonated and they all, they're all flavored waters with zero calories. Like they're all pretty similar and they're all like in a can shaped container. So I'm just doing them all in one video. And I'm not really a fan of sparkling waters, so I don't think any of these is gonna be like the main winner anyway. So I'm just combining them all into one video. First up, we have highball energy water. This is vanilla and grapefruit flavored. And this is energy water, but it does not get its energy from caffeine. It actually gets its energy from vitamin B12 and vitamin B6. That's what gives you the energy. And next up we have Alta Paula water. This is peach and wild berry water. And you might notice these cans look pretty similar. It's like a different brand, but it's pretty similar, like size and shape and color and everything. Just a different brand. That's because these are actually from the same company. These are all, all four of these are made by Highball. Different brand for some reason. I don't really know why. They say that Highball is a railroad term that means full steam ahead. So I don't know why they didn't call this highball. Maybe because it's not like an energy drink. They just wanted to mix it up or something, but it's the same company, but a different brand. Next up is the Tickle Water. This is carbonated flavored water. And this is watermelon, orange mango, green apple, and grape. And the cool thing about this bottle is just how neat the actual bottle or can or whatever you want to call this is. It's like clear plastic on the sides and then metal can opening on the top. This, this really reminds me of the Mr. Flav peach mango water that I reviewed a long time ago. It's kind of not professionally done super well because the label is kind of like peeling off on some parts of the label. These four tickle waters are from salaciousdrinks.com. They were a dollar and 29 cents. The Alta Paula water was from Walmart. This was a dollar and 48 cents. And the highball energy water was from Target. This was $2.99 per can. So this highball water is actually kind of pretty expensive. $2.99 per can for energy water. And the highball and the Alta Paula water are from San Francisco. And let's just, you know, start opening them up and getting started. Start with the uh, Tickle water. This is from Salacious Drinks. This is the grape one, and each flavor has like a different character drawing on it. There's a little cat. It smells like carbonated grape soda, kind of. I don't really like that. <laughs> um, they also sell this on Amazon, and they say like it's targeted for kids. Like they say it's for health conscious parents who want their kids to drink something other than soda. So I guess that's why like they have drawings of animals on each bottle. And it's kind of a weird name, tickle water, like for your kids, it's kind of weird, but it's grape. We got a lot of waters to get through. Here is watermelon, the picture of an owl on it, I think. No bubbles at all when I open that. Maybe that's the problem. It's like really flat, I guess. Yeah. Yeah, like no carbonation at all, really. It's like a really mild flavor of watermelon, but it's kind of over overwhelming by just the taste of flat carbonated water green apple water with a picture of a tiger with a top hat for some reason. Is there any carbonation with this? No, again, like basically no carbonation at all when I open it. Yeah. Again, mild flavor of apple, but like a much stronger flavor of just uncarbonated carbonated water <laughs> and here is the orange mango with a picture of a frog on it is there any carbonation with this a little bit I heard some you know some air coming out of it but I don't really see any bubbles 
And I was thinking a reason they might call it tickle water is because it tickles your throat going down, but so far there's been no tickle, no, no carbonation. Yeah, this is the most carbonated one so far. I'm gonna go ahead and just eliminate these three because these three were so flat. Like maybe it's a flaw in the design of the bottle or, or the can or whatever you want to call it. Maybe that's why it became so flat and uncarbonated. There's a guy on, on Amazon who did a review of this tickle water and he showed it arriving in an Amazon box and one of the tops popped off. Like he said the box arrived wet and maybe it, it's maybe that's why they don't use this kind of bottles that often. Anyway, these three are out. Let's try the Alta Paula water peach. I can, hear, I can hear bubbles. Don't smell anything. You might think it's weird that I'm saying I'm eliminating these for not having bubbles in them because in all my past reviews I say I don't like sparkling waters but the problem is it's even worse when you have the taste of like carbonated water without the bubbles so let me just I'm just clarifying that um, and here is wild berry oh and I should, I should also mention these have the colored lids so it's easier to tell you know the difference between them the pull tabs Pretty good, kind of like a mild flavor. Here's the energy water with grapefruit. It's like the, every can I open has more carbonation than the last. And the Alta Paula waters all say they have organic flavors, and it's it's just organic flavors and carbonated water. The highball waters have a much bigger list of ingredients. It's like natural ingredients and carbonated water and like six other things. That's pretty good. This reminds me of the like Shasta root beer water that I had when I was in Utah. You know, it's been a long time since I've done a water review here. It's actually been like over a month. Um, I did a couple water reviews when I was in Utah but I've just been busy since I got back and busy before my trip. Um, you know, in one of my other videos, I was telling you guys I don't have a job. I kind of sort of have a job now. Not a real job, but like a source of income. Um, I've been doing stuff with Airbnb. Like I, um, I'm kind of renting an apartment building and I'm filling it up with furniture and renting it out to to Airbnb guests and that's what I've been working on the past couple weeks that's why I've been so busy haven't made any um, water reviews lately but it's full you know we've got it full of furniture we've got people in there so it's going pretty well I've just been busy with that and it's nice being able to like work on my own I don't have a boss that I have to um, answer to Or I guess the three I like the best are these three. I'm going to eliminate the highballs. It's just more of like a complex flavor to it. It's like it's like too many ingredients, like I was saying earlier. Um, I like that these ones are just simple and natural. And these are more watery waters because they're like closer to water because they have less ingredients. I mean, look at the waters I have to review. Like that whole dresser thing. Pretty much everything on top of that is waters that I need to review. I've been getting kind of far behind. That's, that's another reason I'm doing so many at once in this video. Is just to get them done with. They're all pretty close. I think I'm going to say that the peach is the winner. Maybe it's just the mood I'm in. Maybe I'm just in a peachy mood. But I'm just enjoying the flavor of this one the most. The clear losers are these three tickle waters that were just no car carbonation in them I'm gonna try real quick just to see if I can pop off the top like that guy on Amazon no top yeah there the whole top did just come off 
not easy or smoothly, but it did come off. Um, <laughs> maybe there was like a change in altitude or something on that guy on Amazon whose top just popped off. <laughs> Excuse me. And the side of the can on this actually has a warning. It says keep out of reach of like small children because there are sharp edges. I think that's kind of interesting. Like they don't say that on a can of Coke, but they feel the need to say that on this. Which is just interesting to me. So anyway, thanks for watching everyone. Um, bye.